A year ago, former Bills punter Matt Areza was on top of the world. This is a dude who had an incredible college career, got drafted in the NFL, was nicknamed the punt god, and was looking to have a stellar rookie season with the Buffalo Bills, and all of that was cut short in an instant when he was accused of doing something absolutely heinous. And immediately, all of the mainstream media, all the people in the NFL, and even the team that drafted him immediately decided, you know what, he's guilty of these crimes. They separated themselves. The Buffalo Bills released him him after saying that we investigated we realized we just can't associate with him anymore his life his career was completely and totally over well as it turns out those allegations were false they were fake they did not happen and even prosecutors and the police were forced to admit that they couldn't charge him with anything after they proved without a shadow of a doubt that Matt Areza was not present at the house where all this happened when this fake victim claimed that it happened. She lied about Matt Areza and destroyed his career. F prosecutors, former NFL punter Matt Areza wasn't present at Ray. Victims' allegations destroyed his career. We talked about this a few weeks ago, and he came out with a statement and said, you know, I'm grateful for the people that stood by me. We still have a long way to go because there is a civil case that's still pending. Keep in mind, that's really what started this entire thing was the civil lawsuit brought against Matt Areza. And he is now, even with all this evidence, out there even the fact that he could settle this really easy and it would go away he's refusing out of principle he's refusing to settle the lawsuit with this despicable woman who made up allegations about him Matt Areza says he won't settle after surviving false allegations ready to hold people responsible and he did go on Outkick now this is the first time to my knowledge that he's gone on any other platform and it was on Outkick it was with Tommy Laren so you can watch his entire interview it's about 20 minutes there's a little snippet of it that I wanted to go to Former Buffalo Bills punter Matt Areza is speaking out after false uh, accusations of joining a gang derailed his career. Sitting down with Tommy Laren on Outkicks, Tommy Laren is fearless. Areza shared his experience surviving allegations. Despite losing his dream job, the truth has given him another shot at playing in the pros. And I hope... I hope he sues everybody. I hope he sues this bitch that made these false allegations. I don't know if there's any action he can take against people in the media for spreading these things or maybe even the Buffalo Bills for pretending like they did a big investigation and then releasing him when in reality, they didn't investigate anything at all. It made it look like he was guilty to everybody. They certainly damaged his career by doing that. But let's listen to this. There's a lot of people that say, hey, listen, you could settle this, the civil case for about 50 grand probably cost you a heck of a lot less than you're spending on attorney's fees at this moment and in the past. So why not just settle and make all this go away? Like you previously said, the damage has been done. And if I was to settle, that would waive my right to countershoot. So at this point, we're the heavy favorite and continuing this any longer is going to be very damaging for them. So I, I'm not willing to settle. He's not willing to say he's not going to sit there and pretend like there's any sort of culpability. He wants to be able to go after this person. He wants to counter sue these people. He wants to hold these people accountable for the false allegations they levied at him. And I love it. I hope he takes everybody involved for everything they are worth. I couldn't imagine being on top of the world like that and having a false allegation come out and destroying everything, ripping everything away. I hope Matt Areza finds himself back in the NFL. I hope another team realizes that this guy didn't do anything that he was alleged to have done and brings him onto their team. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.